hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video we're going to make rose jam and this is a just a two ingredient rose jam and we're going to make it with jaggery it's super easy and it's quick and it's delicious as well so if you want to see how to make it let's watch the video the first thing I've done for the rose jam is I've got roses I've taken off the petals these roses I got this is from the market and um, that's why I'm washing it again and again. So what I've done is I have taken enough water that will cover the roses and I've added in two tablespoons of vinegar, one tablespoon of baking soda and one tablespoon of normal salt and I've mixed the water and then I've soaked our petals in it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these petals for about five times and then drain it on a colander. Now I have washed the petals and I've drained it on the colander. Now the ingredients for this jam are just two ingredients. I have taken four cups of rose petals. These are the desi variety of roses. You can take any and half a cup of jaggery. This is all that we are going to use for this jam. So let's see how to make it. Now into a mixer jar, I'm going to take these rose petals and I'm going to just pulse it so it just breaks down. I don't want it to grind completely. I just want them to be gently pulsed. So I'll show you how they look. I've taken these petals into a mixer jar and I'm going to just maybe grind it for just a pulse or two. That's it. Now this is how they look after we've pulsed it. You see they're not completely ground but they're just broken down. This is the consistency we need. Now I've taken the rose petals in a pan and I'm going to add our jaggery to it. And I'm going to switch on our pan. And I've switched on the pan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it gently and allow it to cook. That's it. We'll just allow it to cook. Here the sugar or the jaggery is less. If you like it a little more sweeter, you can add it. You can add another one fourth cup or half cup of jaggery to the jam. But I didn't want to overly sweeten the jam. That's why I've added just half a cup of jaggery. I'll leave the ingredient list at the end of the video. You can check that out. Now we'll wait for the uh, jaggery to melt and coat the roses now you see the jaggery is melted and the rose petals have also started releasing the water now what we need to do is just cook the rose petals and it will become jelly like we'll wait for that now if you see it's almost cooked it will take a little more time till the jaggery and the water that the roses released melts down do check your jam at this stage and uh, if you feel that they need more sweetness do add jaggery to it uh, sweetness depends from person to person so in my family this is all that we need so if you feel that you need more sweetness to your jam go ahead and add um, half cup or one fourth cup at a time of jaggery and then you can increase it if you need more almost done it'll take just a few more minutes and your jam will be ready if you see our, the liquid from the petals and the jaggery has dried out completely and when I tasted our rose petals are cooked and you see how jelly like they've become our jam is ready now I'm going to switch off the flame and allow it to cool before I bottle it so here you go, I have bottled our jam and um, we can use it for up to 15 days. You're going to store it in an airtight container and you're going to store it in the refrigerator and you can use it for up to 15 days. So you see how quick and easy this jam is. Do try this out and if you do like this, please do like my video and do share with your friends and do subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye bye.